I think the official date that we used for my dad starting the company was 1969, out of a little home in Jollyettville, uh, right beside of Highway 32. It was custom framing at the time, and we traveled the state pretty much building homes for cap homes. Dad was framing houses at the time. He started taking my brother and I to work when I was about nine. My brother was about 11. It was just us three for a while. The reason why I loved it is because Dad always, uh, he was always good with us. He trained us. He broke every labor law that'll ever be written. He had us up on the roofs, nailing in rafters. He had us using nail guns and power saws. Little by little, we would start getting a foundation here or there at the same time we were framing, framing homes. The poured concrete wall uh, concept took hold. People started seeing what it was, and we had little competition in those days for, the, for that. I'm thinking it was, must have been like one year out of school, probably 1977. My dad approached me and said, well, we're going to phase out the framing and we're going to go full-time into the concrete business. And so we changed our name to Custom Concrete Company. A lot of times we would meet in a little cafe in Westfield and organize and dispatch from there. At that time, uh, our office was in the garage of the home that my mom and dad lived in. And then actually that facility, we acquired the homes next door as they became available. It became a campus style facility. And one time, if I could just say, Dad said that when times were getting hard for him, he just stopped his truck, got out of his truck, walked off into a field and got down on his knees and prayed to God for help. And he told me it seemed like that just, it helped him and I believe it helped the company. My dad he never wanted to have to say no to a customer that, that it'll be many, many, many weeks before we can get to them. And that typically meant buying equipment and hiring people so that we could meet our customers' needs. Try not to minimize anybody's effort, but to recognize the participation by so many people that have been here, some have been here for many years, some have spent nearly their, most of their lifetime here. Others come and maybe not stay so long, but their participation is valuable. And it will need that participation by so many to continue.